Hello, welcome to Die Rolling. I'm the ever excitable Adam, and today I'm unboxing Oathsworn Into the Deepwood, the Twisting Tales game by Shadowborn Games and by Jamie Jolly. Uh, we were sent a review copy of this. I'm very excited to have a look at this. This is the, just the Stanley version. There is a version with a ton of miniatures you can get for this. Um, but yeah, we've gone for the Stanley version for this. So um, yeah, like I say, very excited. Now, just getting into this is worth noting. I'm not going to have a look at all the components because this is one of those games where there's lots of legacy components, um, which they don't want to spoil uh, for you when you initially play this. So lots of this is going to be hidden behind envelopes. So I'm going to be a bit cagey about what I actually show you guys, because I don't want to spoil it for me, I don't want to spoil it for you, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. So uh, let's take a look. First of all, the artwork's fantastic. I mean, look at this stuff. Ugh. Grizzly is a very big box. A very big box. I think on the inside, always check. Um, so we have a warning here. The deep wood holds many mysteries, and so does this box. Do not open any boxes, envelopes, or books, nor look at the faces of any cards or boards until told to. So my unboxing is going to be pretty interesting here, because I won't be going through much. And components you may look at immediately are both rule books, punch boards, miniatures and trays, player aids, ability cards, archetype cards, companion cards, might, decks, all dice, player boards, free company sheets, and character sheets. To begin turn the page over. Oof, so we've got instructions straight away of what we need to be doing. So first time setup and all of this jazz. So, wow, that does look pretty interesting. And straight away, we have these uh, mystery envelopes. Um, which we're not allowed to open until told to do so, although that one does look like it's already come in open. I assume that these are actually all the uh, all the bad guys, they're standees, uh, because in the other version you get a bunch of um, uh, boxes, mystery boxes, I believe. So we've got mystery box 1, 10, 12, triangle, 2, 3, 4, 5, Diamond, six, seven, nine, thirteen, fourteen, X, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty one, eleven. I must have missed eight somewhere. I missed the envelope A, B. C, D, and an E as well, and an F, G, H. Wow, that's loads. Okay, then we have the miniatures themselves. I kind of feel like I've opened this the wrong way around. Um, so, push fit design, multi-part push fit minis. If a part becomes loose, simply push the piece into place and squeeze the front and back of the miniature tightly. So, we're getting miniature-wise, it's pretty nice uh, kind of sculpts on this. That bird dude looks pretty cool. Okay, so that's our one box of miniatures there. And then our last box of miniatures, Like a big kind of golemy thing, and some soldiers, some birds, some weird plant things. Okay, so we're out to look at punch boards. So let's we'll take a look at this. So we got like a battle map, maybe sided so we've got one side which is kind of like a um, muddy kind of terrain and the other side which is uh, like a wood kind of thing really nice uh, artwork on the boards looks nice and sturdy uh, then we've got a bunch of tokens which uh, according to the uh, instructions that we looked at the very beginning we're gonna have to assemble all this stuff so we've got numbers we've got shields we've got uh, cards Bulk dice, maybe, blood, poison, 
Uh, then we've got coins. Everyone loves a bit of coinage. Uh, then we've got some uh, kind of terrain tiles. Oh, they're nice. Houses, like uh, walls or gates. And then we've got our first standees here, which are probably mercenaries, maybe, or maybe villagers. I don't know. And then hollowed, uh, kind of tree trunks, sorry, not hollowed. Right, and then look at all this stuff. So we've got a bunch of these game trays now whether you're going to be they look like you're going to be putting your cards into here so maybe that's sorting out the cards when you're playing the game um i'm not quite sure what this is so i'm not going to read open this and take a look but um interesting you don't have oh, my word take it these are the rule books so we have the storybook, chapter 1 to 11. I don't believe I'm allowed to read that yet. We have the story rule book, which I think we are allowed to read. So looks really nice. Lovely artwork. And, and we've got a companion app for this game as well. Whew. We've got the encounter book. Don't know if we're allowed to look at that. And tells you how do we pack the box as well? My word, that is really handy. And then we have uh, encounter rule book as well, which lots and lots of information in there. And then we have storybook chapters 12 to 21. And then a journal. So, um, let's have a quick flick. Lots of writing in here. Top of that, we've got a bag with some baggies in there. And our free company kind of uh, tracker sheet as well. So, um, some traits you can get there. Interesting. This all looks really cool. And then dice. Look at those. That's some lovely, um, lovely dice in this. And some um, kind of compass points as well. And uh, some D um, D12s. Uh, but yeah, lovely fistful of uh, dice I've got here. Then we got some metallic dice, which I'm assuming these aren't for rolling, surely. You do yourself some damage rolling these guys. Oof. Once again, lovely. Um, we've got a party marker maybe? In here. Um, just in case you didn't have enough dice, here's some more dice. So with uh, custom kind of symbols on. There's your A ASMR for you guys, uh, for anyone who's into that stuff. You're welcome. Uh, we've got cubes, red, yellow, and black. Uh, we've got some uh, amber there. So uh, John Hammond will be after that to start Jurassic Park. We then got this huge stack. Which I can't even get out of, which I can't look at. We've got cards as well. I'm not going to go into these because I'm not sure exactly what we're supposed to be looking at. And it's like a little baggie just down here. It has all your standee bases. And we have a little pouch with this Kerr on it as well. Uh, and then this game tray looks like it's pretty much actually uh, kind of yeah, inserted in there. So I'm not going to be able to get that out. So that's everything you get inside this uh, standy version of this. That looks like there is a ton of, um, yeah, a ton of stuff in there. And I've got to repack all this stuff in the in the box. So wish me luck. Um, it's going to be a while before we get this onto the channel, but um, I'll be posting up my thoughts as I play 
uh, maybe on the uh, Wednesday waffles and uh, also just general posts about this game as I go through it. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on this game. If you've got it yourself and uh, there's some exciting stuff about it, let me know. Or if um, this is a game you're really interested in, then uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Anyway, I've been the ever excited Adam. I've answered the question, what's in the box? And until next time, guys, stay safe or die rolling.